In a major humiliation to Pakistan, the Organization of Islamic Cooperation rebuffed Islamabad's demand of adding Kashmir issue to the joint declaration of the 46th session of OIC. A desperate Pakistan which exploited all available options to snub India at the platform suffered repeated ridicule as it failed to influence any of the member states. Its demands questioning India attending the meet as guest of honour were given no heed. In fact, the member states put all their weight behind Indian accessions, seeking an integrated and comprehensive fight against the growing menace of terrorism, a report. The 46th session of the Council of Foreign Ministers of the Organization of Islamic Cooperation, a two-day event held in Abu Dhabi, concluded with member states discussing and resolving to combat rising hate speech, extremism and conflict in the region. With India being the guest of honor, 56 member states and five observer states attended the meeting. Pakistan, an influential member state in the crew, which apparently grew insecure at India being invited with prestigious tag, gave meeting a miss. The junior officers who represented the country in the meeting made several failed attempts to discredit India on the pretext of their concocted stories. All its aggression and desperation were given a cold shoulder by OIC. However, the biggest blow came when OIC decided not to include Kashmir in the final draft of the session. जो मिडिल ईस्टर्न देश हैं मसलन सऊदी अरेबिया भारत 19 प्रतिशत तेल सऊदी अरेबिया से खरीदता है अगर हम खरीदना बंद कर दें चीन बंद कर दें जापान बंद कर दें इनको पता है इनके ऊपर क्या असर पड़ेगा इसलिए ये भारत की तरफ दोस्ती के हाथ बढ़ा रहे हैं म्यूचुअल है दोनों को एक दूसरे की जरूरत है और तभी यू और ये सब देश भारत को इस्लामिक कॉन्फ्रेंस में उन्होंने इन्वाइट किया पाकिस्तान रोता रहे पिटता रहे भारत एक बड़ी भारी भारत एक बड़ी भारी आर्थिक शक्ति है और सैन्य शक्ति है इसका प्रभाव दुनिया पे पड़ेगा वो आपको ओआईसी में दिख रहा है Indian Foreign Minister Shushma Swaraj, who became part of the meeting, took an indirect dig at Pakistan, saying that there were states which were involved in the funding and sheltering of the terrorists. Her statement came in the backdrop of India, grieving death of 40 paramilitary soldiers who lost their lives in mid-February in suicide bombing carried out by terrorist group Jaish Muhammad. It is one of those terrorist organizations that are thriving owing to constant state support from Pakistan. While stating that terrorism was destroying lives, destabilizing regions and putting the world at great peril, she urged the nations that were providing safe havens to terrorists to immediately destroy the terror infrastructure in their country. If we want to save the humanity, then we must tell the states who provide shelter and funding to the terrorists to dismantle the infrastructure of the terrorist camps and stop providing funding and shelter to the terror organizations based in that country. A number of countries in the OIC, including Afghanistan, Iran, Syria and Bangladesh, are in a constant battle with the terrorism. They are losing lives and properties on a daily basis owing to expanding waves of violence. Thus, the OIC MIT is an important platform for the terror-suffering countries to come together and formulate concrete steps against terrorism. Pakistan's planned absence from this important meeting directly signals towards its undecided stand on terrorism. India and Afghanistan, two neighbors of Pakistan, have been the perennial victims of terror emanating from Pakistani soil. While it has been providing moral and material support to the Taliban insurgents in Afghanistan to keep the country unstable, it has also been infiltrating terrorists across Indian territory in a bid to attack its sovereignty. We are witnessing the terrible daily destruction in senseless terrorist violence. It is destroying lives, destabilizing regions and putting the world at great peril. The reach of terror is growing, its lethality is increasing, and the toll it is taking is rising. In the rich diversity of Southeast Asia, in West Asia and the Gulf, in North Africa and Sahel region, in Europe and North America, 
in Afghanistan, Bangladesh and India, we see the terrible face of terror. The huge takeaway of the meeting was that a predominantly Islamic grouping OIC chose India, a peaceful country in both words and actions over Pakistan, a constant supporter and perpetrator of terrorism. Pakistan, which stood at the cusp of being isolated globally, has been hammered diplomatically as no country is willing to have its back. It was also indicative of India's extensive and multifarious diplomacy paying off with Islamic countries that have remained highly supportive of Pakistan leaving it owing to its unrelenting support to terrorism.